Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing well. Want to do a quick update on the 1754 SC, the Tracker Marine boat that we had purchased. And we did one review earlier on, um, oh boy, might have been May, maybe June, don't really remember when we did that review. But we had just gotten it, uh, took it out, it was a break-in period and whatnot. I had some Oh, questions and concerns at the time regarding the boat. Um, I came from a boat that was probably three times this size, so I haven't had a boat that was as small, and I guess you could say nimble, that might be the best word for it, as this boat. Um, but I can say it is excellent. We really have enjoyed using it, and we've used it quite a bit. Not for every one of our videos and so on, but for quite a few of them. And it's a really fun boat. Um, my stability concerns, those were wiped out pretty early on. Uh, it is very stable. It is a great fishing platform. There's plenty of deck space. It does have a live well. Never used it. The only thing we've ever put in the live well, I think, has been ice burgers, uh, iced teas, that sort of thing. Because uh, I don't fish with live bait, and I also don't keep any fish. So because of that, the live well purpose is, you know kind of pointless, but it's a great cooler. Um, aside from that, we did, uh, for folks who have seen the video previously, we did get it with the Mercury 75 horse uh, four-stroke. Uh, it is the max the boat's recommended for. It is absolutely perfect for this boat. It gets up on plane fast um, with three or four people in it, and it just planes out with so little effort, the engine barely works to be able to maintain that plane. It is pretty fuel efficient. I mean, considering it's a, an outboard, um, it does a good job. And if you really do get on it, uh, because you're so low to the water, it really feels like you're going about 100 miles an hour. You're not, you're probably going 36, 37, which, you know, I find is plenty fast enough on the water, especially with today's boat traffic. Um, there's so much chop out there that unless I was in something like a 30 some foot Grady White, I probably wouldn't want to go ripping over it anyway. So, um, it draws almost no water. You can get into some super shallow, uh, back cove type areas. Um, there's one spot that we cross from one body of water to another. That's this very super shallow, maybe six inches of water, uh, sandbar, and we're able to just barely squeak through where other boats they can't and this other pond that we go into does not have public boat access so the only way in is from the public launch at the other end of the other pond so it works great um, I would say anyone who is interested in not spending an arm and a leg for a brand new boat definitely look at this boat or at least something like it um, you know we're dare I say middle-aged. Never thought I would say that, but I am. Doesn't have a good ring to it. It actually makes me not throw up in my mouth a little bit. But I am. I'm middle-aged, kind of grumpy. I really don't want to deal with boats that are and or require like five people, spotters and helicopters and drones and whatever else to align the thing. I just want to be able to get in the water with it as quickly as possible, minimal BS, launch it, fish, have a good time, and then when it's time to leave, you're not the guy that's tying up the boat ramp for 45 minutes while you're trying to figure out, well, geez, does this go over here, and this isn't lined up, and oh, wow, what do I do with this? You're in, you're out. You know, uh, I don't want to be that guy. This boat, the way it's set up, how simple it is, how light it is, um, helps keep me from becoming that guy. And we all know that guy. Trust me, you could do videos and videos and videos of that guy. They all look different, but they're all the same person, if you know what I mean. So anyway, uh, to keep the video short, I would say if you're looking for a relatively inexpensive, highly capable, fun, easy to manage, easy to tow, just simple fishing or just whatever you want to do, just get out on the water and just enjoy being on the water. The 1754 SC is an excellent choice and it does not cost a mint. Uh, I think we paid 22 and change, uh, 22,000 and change brand new um, for the boat. 
that's not too bad. It's worse than it used to be, but you know, so is the cost of bread and everything else out there today. So anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. Um, I love it. There's no snow yet. It's Christmas, but there's no snow. And there's a lot of people out there that love snow. I personally hate snow with an unbridled passion. Go figure. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. And thank you to the folks who have subscribed. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say other than that. You know, take care, everybody. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye.